Hello friends, this video Real Numbers Part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Real Number Part 1 to Part 7. Let's try to understand irrational. Irrational number as we already know is any number which cannot be written in P by Q form. Where Q is not equal to 0 obviously. It cannot be written. Please note it cannot be written. For example, we have root 3 pi root 2 these numbers you cannot write in p by q right because root 2 is, is going to actually 1.414432 right once again 1.414327 it keeps going on till infinite the so infinite the decimal part is infinite so this can't be written in p by q form correct so such numbers which cannot be written in p by q form is called irrational. Let's understand one theorem first. It's a very crucial theorem. We'll use this. If p is any prime number, please understand is we are talking only about prime number. Only prime number that is which has number and 1 as the factor. If p be a prime number, if p divides a square, then p divides a. Correct? I can write for prime p if p by a square is true that means p by is also correct if p divides a square sorry a square by p then a by p is also if p divides a square if p is dividing a square then p will also divide a but if p, if p is not prime this is not true for example i'll take let's suppose we have 4 right and we have 4 square this is 16 now if 16 divide this number it doesn't it doesn't mean that 16 divide this number also because 16 is not a prime but if we take a prime number for example 2 if 16 divides 2 16 divide uh, 2 divides i mean 4 also uh, 2 also divides 4 if 2 divides 16 2 also divides 4 i think 16 divides 16 doesn't mean 16 divides 4 but 2 divides 4 means 2 divides 16 because it's a prime number. So if we're talking about the prime number, if if p is a prime number, if p divides a square in place, p divides a also. Only for the prime number. Now we have to prove that root 2 is irrational. To prove root 2 is irrational, let's assume root 2 is rational. Let's assume. Let's assume root 2 is rational. Let's assume this. If root 2 is rational, we assume, we can say that root 2 is nothing but a by b, we can write in this form of a by b, where a and b are co-prime. This is very much mandatory, so please note, co-prime. So if you are writing any rational number in a by b form, that means a by b are co-prime. Correct? Now I can say that b root 2 is equal to a, I just put this side here, I will square this, I will get 2b square is equal to a square that means I say that 2 divides a square because 2 into some constant this is nothing but 2 into some constant is a square so I say 2 divides a square since 2 divides a square I can say that 2 divides a why since 2 is prime just now we have seen this since 2 is prime if 2 divides a square 2 also divides a now we can say 2k is equal to a square right so we can say that 2 divides a square we can say that 2 into some constant is a right since 2 divides a we can say that 2 into some constant is a this is my equation one that is 2 is a factor of a now we have this equation 2b square is equal to a square instead of a square i can write 2k square why because a is equal to 2k here so i can write 2b square is it? nothing but 2k here square that is 4k square correct or we get b square is nothing but 2k square so we can say that 2 divides b square correct because b square is 2 into some constant so also we can say that 2 divides b why because 2 is prime so what we have seen 2 divides a and 2 divides b that means we have seen that 2 is factor of a and 2 is factor of b 
Thus we have seen that two is a common factor of a and b. But what we have assumed that a and b are co-prime. That means a and b is not having any factor. So our assumption is incorrect. That means our assumption that root two is rational is also incorrect. So we have proved that root two is rational. That is our answer. What we have done here, we have assumed that root two is rational. That means root two is a by b, where a and b are co-primes, and then we have proved that a and b are not co-prime. A and b has a common factor that is two. Thus, our assumption was wrong. So root two is also irrational, not rational. Let's take one more example. Here we have to prove that three plus two root five is. Here also, let's assume that three plus. Let's assume I'm right. Let's assume three plus two root five. Let's assume that three plus two root five is rational, is equal to rational, and so this is nothing but a by b. I write a by b, where a and b are co-primes. Right? Similar step. Watch it in the last example. Let's assume three plus two root five is rational, where this is equal to a by b, where a and b are co-prime. So I can say that three plus two root five is equal to a by b, right? Or I can say that two root five is nothing but a by b minus three. I have just put three this side. Or I get five root five is nothing but one by two into a by b minus three. Now since a by b is rational, three is rational, one by two is rational. The whole thing is rational, correct? So this says that I mean this says that root five is rational. But we know that root five is not rational. We know that. We know that root five is not rational. Hence, our assumption which we have taken is incorrect. Assumption we took was that root five is rational. So this is incorrect. That is two three plus root five is irrational. That is the answer. Same thing. What we have done here also is we assume that three plus two root five is, ra is rational. Our a by b form. Then we have found that if we assume that, then we came to a conclusion that root five is also rational. But that is wrong. We know that root five is irrational. That means our assumption was wrong, and that means three plus two root five is irrational. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.